Hello everybody. So let's uh, reduce that down. We should be recording the screen. So we're going to have a look at um, Studio Max and uh, Spline. So creation, uh, Spline objects. We'll do the line object for a start. So we'll go in top view and click, 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 click. If you want to complete this, go somewhere near it and hit left hand mouse again. I'll say, do you want to close the spline? Yes, we do. So that's my spline closed. I can then go to modify panel and add a um, add a bevel modifier. There we go. And give it some height, like so. And then we'll add level three to add a little bit of a bevel. And then we'll go inset that a little bit like that. Okay. So there you go. There's my extrude and bevel. If I want to go and change this, I can. So let's drop down to the uh, vertex part of it and we'll do show up the stack so we can see the end result. We're going to grab this spline here and we're going to go down to, let's just go down to fill it, see what that does. So that gives us a curve. Let's uh, rotate the viewport around so we can see that. Can we see that? Let's uh, control Z that. Okay, so selected this go to the fillet and we can add a curve <coughs> okay we we'll go to this point here we're going to add a chamfer so you can chamfer it um, yeah so that's all cool we can in fact select instead of the vertex we can select the whole spline so I'm going to go and select the spline and we're going to do an outline so I can now do an outline so that now outlines that object and we'll double you that. So can we see that? Okay, so that's cool. And then we can go, once we've done that, we can then go into vertex point again, select the inside vertice, and we can fill it that looks like so. Yeah, we can also select multiple um, things such as these two here. Do two at once, and should be able to fill it those two as well. So you sort of get the groovy idea that it's pretty groovy yep and uh, yeah we can go to a point and just delete it yeah we can go to any of these points and we'll say we'll delete that as well delete that and grab that we'll change that back to being a corner point so it's a straight thing so on if I'll go back to all of them here and we'll go and uh, Right and click, change them all to being corner points. So all back to being where they were again. Now we can get rid of some things we don't want. Or we can go into, let's go press F3 so, in, uh, so you can see through wireframe mode. We can even go and select spline, the inside spline, this guy here. Let's hit delete. Go over to here again and uh, F3 and we're back to where we were more or less. And that's it really. So uh, yeah, I can add an extra point in by going down to brain need to be in point mode don't we so in vertex mode there we go so I can go to refine I can add a point in here and then go over to this and then decide that you know I want to move it in like so and then actually you know what that point I just want to go again and fill it that add a bit of a bend to it I can also uh, select these two points here Side. these two actually are going to be bezier corner so I'll get bezier handles so I can uh, decide we're going to do that and sort of do that and then with this guy go around here a little bit get the handle here and can sort of do whatever we want we can break the tangent on that as well okay and the other thing we're looking at on here is under um, interpolation it's just set to optimize we can do it adaptive so we can add more yeah can make it nice and smooth like so and uh, do that and then do that there we go so yeah there you go so that is basically a couple of things all looks like a part of United States of America I'm not sure what state that is the state of um, uh, state of my pizza burning I think if you're not careful so yeah that's a bit on that. that. Let's just move that out of the way. So just grab that there, drag that out of the way, and we'll go top view, 
and we're just going to go and grab other things so that's just a line tool the rectangle tool you get to also um, go in here perspective mode we're going to go and add in the bevel modifier just to give it something to play with it remembers the previous settings and go back down to the rectangle and add a corner radius for this so we get a corner radius okay and again we can go in um, go into this rectangle or actually we can change this rectangle here so I can get rid of my uh, at this point let's go and change this to convert to editable let's get rid of bevel for the minute we don't need it I'm just going to go and convert this now to editable uh, spline and again we can just select the spline and we can uh, duplicate it like so okay and then with that we should be able to do a boolean on this so this this here going to uh, boolean this and gives us that so then I can go and add a bevel again and we get that okay so we can bevel stuff and boolean stuff so then we can go again down to editable spline level here I can go and add in a um, add in a circle so let's go um, F3 and add a circle in here say uh, there let's put it there for the minute and we can drag that over there then at this level here for editable spline I can then go and attach let's just put this in to that view okay I can go I show result I can then go editable splines I'm going to go and attach and if we go into that view we can just add in that and that then gives us that there you go so it's all cool isn't it and we can then obviously go in and move that around and whatever we want to go and do so yeah editable splines pretty cool what else we got in here we've also got donuts as well again we can do a donut and we've got um, circles ellipses so we can drag out an ellipse like so and we get to keep what we're playing with here we've got engons like so we can add in how many sides it needs to have for instance and we've got a corner radius again for this so I can round it off and then obviously go and add in our boring bevel again gives us that yeah and uh, what else we got da, 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 da. We've got stars so we can interactively play with this we can um, also auto key it so we can go over to frame 35 and we can change it to three stars let's make it nine stars yeah and we'll change the fillet radius from that to that so we've got some round we go back to this goes to that okay and we'll switch off auto key for the minute and we'll put bevel on right here and then as we go through it it will adding more stars and add the bevel in without any more targets it just remembers where it's going how cool is that so yeah gives you a bit of an idea how interesting the line tool is and that should get me somewhere towards my pizza being cooked so let's um let's see what we can do with that then so click on this and yeah catch you in a bit cheers bye